Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tastecheats.com. In the previous episode, I demonstrated how you can use the drawing tools to trace a scanned in sketch and compose a vector trace. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can take your vector drawing and compound it into a single flat vector. So here I have open an example document. Now at first glance, they look identical, but they are indeed very different. Over to the left here is the drawing we created in the previous tutorial. If I press V to activate my selection tool and start clicking around on my drawing, we can see that this composition contains all the individual vector strokes and shapes that make up the vector artwork. Now, if I come over to the right here and select the artwork, we can see that this is one solid flat vector. Now, this vector object has been compounded from the example to the left. If you'd like to take a closer look at this example, this can be found in the Compounding Vectors folder, in the Project folder. And you can download this project folder for free, the download link is in the description. So what does Compounding Object mean in Illustrator? Well, to compound a vector object in Illustrator is to merge and flatten a number of individual vectors into a single vector. Some vector compositions, such as the example here to the left, might not only consist of solid vector shapes, but also vector strokes. So why compound a vector like this? Well, there are some good reasons why you may want to compound vectors. By compounding solid vector shapes together with stroke vectors, we can create a flat single vector, and this would help make your project more streamlined. With the single vector, we can apply a series of effects we might not be able to apply to the composition with individual vectors and strokes. For example, we could click the Swap Fill and Stroke button to create an interesting outline effect. To that stroke effect, we could apply dashed lines, or we could apply a texture brush from the Brushes panel. Now, those are just some examples. Now, the main reason why we are going to compound our vector is to help us add color to the artwork. Later, we are going to use the compounded shape vector as a stencil. So how can we compound multiple vector shapes and strokes into a single flat vector? So to demonstrate this, I'm going to carry on from where we left off in the previous video, where we traced the sketch and developed our vector composition. If you are following along from the previous video, great, open that document now. Though if you're new to this course, you will need to open this document. This can be found in the Drawing folder in the Project folder. You can download this Project folder for free. The download link is in the description. So with the Project folder open, click Test Project, Drawing, Compounding Vectors, Versions, and select the version of Illustrator you're using. In my case, it's CC, and open the Skull Drawing file, and you should have something that looks like this. So here we are with the drawing on the first artboard. We are going to begin by selecting the entire composition with a selection tool. With it all selected, I'm going to press Command C to copy and Command V to paste. With my new artwork, I'm going to place this over onto the next artboard. An important thing to keep in mind, if you ever plan on compounding your vectors, always keep a backup of your original composition. So I'm going to keep my original drawing composition on the first artboard and now proceed with my new version on my second artboard. Great, so now we are ready to compound the artwork. So with our new artwork selected, I'm going to come up to Object, scroll down and click Expand Appearance. Now what that will do is expand all the brush strokes in the composition. All the strokes with brush effects applied will now be expanded into vector shapes. Next, we are going to have to come again to Object, though this time we are going to select Expand. Now when we click this, we are going to get a menu appear. This menu box is asking us what we would like to expand. On this occasion, we want to expand everything, so we are going to make sure Fill and Stroke is selected and press OK. Now, if we zoom in, we can see that all the vector strokes that previously made this composition have been changed into vector shapes. And we can see here if we look carefully that many of these new vector shapes are overlapping each other. Great. 
So the next step is to come to the Pathfinder tool. I have mine here to the right, though if you cannot see yours, you can come up to the top menu, click Window, scroll down and activate it here. So I'm going to go ahead and click the first Shape Mode tool called Unite. Upon click, we can now see, if we zoom in, that all the individual vector shapes that were previously overlapping each other have now been merged together as one. Now before we are done, we need to come over to the Pathfinder tool once more and click the top right hand menu. Scroll down and click Make Compound Shape. Once this is clicked, we will then see a button become available in the Pathfinder panel called Expand. Finally, we need to click this and upon click, we have successfully compounded what was previously a complex composition of vector shapes and strokes into a single flat vector. Excellent! So that's how you can compound vectors in Adobe Illustrator. First, you need to select the vectors you wish to compound together, and by triggering the expand options, you can flatten them into single vectors. So in the next video, we are going to begin to color our vector artwork. Now at the moment, this compound vector is hollow. We have just spent the previous videos focusing on getting our sketch from paper and into Illustrator by using the drawing tools to trace it. This vector we have just compounded is simply a black vector with lots of shapes cut out. So how are we going to add colour to this vector artwork? Well now I want to show you a handy tip I use. I am now going to use this compounded vector object as a stencil. I'm going to use this vector shape to create some new vector shapes which we will apply colour to. So to do this, I'm first going to create a new artboard. I'm going to come over to the artboard panel and click the add artboard button. Then I'm going to click on the right artboard menu button, click arrange artboards and click OK. And now I have a new artboard below like so. So I'm going to come to my new artboard and I'm going to come over to the menu and select the rectangle shape tool. On my new artboard, I'm going to draw a shape like so, roughly the size of the page. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to color the shape in yellow, though at this point it does not matter what color you choose to use. Cool. Next, I'm going to come back to my compounded shape that I just created. I'm going to select it and press Command C to copy. Then I'm going to come down to my new artboard and press Command V to paste and I'll just position my pasted vector on top of my yellow block. Then I'm going to paste once more, but this time I'm going to place my new version over in the pasteboard. You will see why I need to do this very shortly. So with my selection tool, I'm going to click and drag over my yellow shape and skull vector like so. And upon release, I now have both the yellow background shape and my skull artwork selected. Then I'm going to come up to the control panel and click the horizontal align center button. Then I'm going to click on the vertical align center button. Now this is very important because this is going to ensure that the skull artwork is perfectly placed in the center of my yellow block. Excellent. Now we are ready to cut the shape out. So with the objects still selected, I'm going to come over to the pathfinder panel. This time, I'm going to click the fourth icon from the left called Exclude. So upon click, we will now see that the skull vector shape that was on top of the yellow block has been cut out of the block behind. So now we have a, essentially inverted the vector of the skull artwork to the right here. Great. You will notice the color changed to black as it incorporated the color from the vector on top. So I'm going to change this back to yellow, like before. So now with the selection tool, I'm going to select the new cutout block and the original vector example to the right by pressing and holding shift. Then just like earlier, I'm going to come up to the control panel and click the horizontal align center button. Then I'm going to click on the vertical align center button. And just like that, we have placed the black vector artwork on top perfectly. And I'll just move this back onto the artboard like so and click off. Now, if I click back onto the yellow area, we can see that this is all selected. 
Now, this is because upon excluding the artwork, it remains grouped. What I'm going to do now is simply right click on the yellow block and select ungroup. Then I'm going to click off to deselect. Now with the selection tool, I'm going to click back onto the yellow shape. And upon click, I am now able to select each and every individual shape within my skull artwork just like that. Nice. Now, I do not need the outside area, so I'll click and delete this like so. So, compounding the original vector drawing composition has proved very useful in this situation. Now I have my outline of the skull artwork in black, which is a flat single vector, and inside I now have all the shapes between the skull artwork, which I can select as individual vectors and begin to apply colour. So to finish off, I'm going to save the document. I'm going to come to File Save and save my document to the desktop and simply save as Skull Compound. Make sure you save this document somewhere safe, as we will be using this document in the next video. So that covers compounding vector shapes in Adobe Illustrator. In the next video, we will be progressing with our project and adding CMYK and Pantone colors to our skull artwork. See you in the next video.